When I came around, I did not know what to do. I was completely empty and felt pain everywhere. Everyone was dead. I was now alone in the world. I felt a desire to hear their voices one last time on Daddy's recorder from the dark room, provided the soldiers hadn't destroyed it, that is. I'm gonna give the photo again. Is that it? It is! I need to get away from here, but first I want to hear the voices of my family one last time. Now I will wake her up and she will confess. You can bet on it. What are you doing with your father's gun? It's dangerous. I didn't know who I was anymore. Everything had fallen apart. I was afraid of myself. My God, it was terrible. I had always been convinced that I was too good for myself, but then I had become my own enemy. I was the danger. What should I have done? I thought about the puppet theater in my old room. There I could find something in myself, perhaps. So I rushed to go play with it again. Wait a minute. This is all telling us that Martha's still, I mean, Julia's still alive at the end of the game. How much of my house is ransacked, I wonder? Hmm, not much. Actually, let's call the police, why not? Not now. Really? Wait, German command. Nope, wrong number.
Not now. Really? Why would you not call German Command? Mummy nearly died giving birth to me. This is what remains in my memory of my mother's, nanny's, and father's stories. I remember little to nothing of my childhood at home. I have to try, though. Maybe the important events I should know are right there. I can't move! I'm too sick! How are you, madam? I feel a sharp pain. Do you need anything? I can feel it. The time has come. Everything is ready. Help! Something is wrong! It help! Irene is not well! How are you, honey? I'm getting weaker and weaker. Arena is sick. Don't worry, Irene. The pain you feel is natural. Push, Irene, push. The baby is born. I feel sick. I feel myself wasting away. That was a random, random. It's going to be okay. That was a random quick time event. Poor mummy. She has suffered so much. I have hurt her so much ever since I was born. <laughs> Mummy, I have to pee. What do you want me to do about it? Mummy, I'm thirsty. You 
you just had a drink, whiner? Now, Mummy, I'm hungry. That's enough. Go to your room. This is just a game. Is it only a game? I believe the white lady said that my lost memories would return in the place of my happy childhood. This is the only place I have ever been truly happy. Are these my memories then? Is this actually my life? What are you doing? Are you crazy? I'm angry with you. I will beat manners into you, you stupid little girl. Come with me now. with me. I will put you in your place, girl. Sorry, Mummy. I won't do it anymore. I promise. Too late. These false tears won't help you. Stay still. No. Please. Please don't. 
Oh no. No, 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 no. Now no. I'll make you want to bark. Oh no! There's no point screaming, stupid girl. No, mummy, please. You're insane. Sure, now I'll show you how insane I am. won't work. Your father is not here like usual. Eat it. No! Eat! I was beginning to remember, but I was so scared to remember too much, especially all at once. I didn't have time to guess exactly what happened. It was making me too upset. Pulling out those memories was like trying to pull out a tooth on your own. Almost impossible, and far too painful. The white lady told me that the church is a safe place and home to its children. Donatilio, my priest, I have to talk to him. I have to call him on the telephone. My hands are clean, though. Wait, now I can leave the, uh, the note. To go far away from here, I need to have a good reason. God damn it. speaking who is it father help me they're all dead daddy mummy everyone julia come to me immediately don't stay alone it's dangerous come to town you can stay here with me and we can talk about everything okay okay father but first i want to play with my puppets for a while julia don't be silly Hey, maybe homegirl does deserve to be in a mental asylum.
Wait, this has a light? What? And There we go. There we go. The photo is where they requested. Use the telegram. Really? All right, plug it all the way back. All right, and we're here now. If you pass over a bridge with little dignity, turn immediately, the stone is there. Okay, are these riddles pointing to something? Like a treasure hunt? Let's try to solve it. It doesn't matter what their origin is or who wrote them in the first place. A bridge with little dignity. Is it referring to a small broken bridge somewhere? In the woods, perhaps? Can I go to the woods now? Oop, that's so locked. Oh, I can. Oh, I can't. I think there's another route that allows me to go there, though. Nope, that's the only way. Unless they take that route. Nope, can't go over there. Oh well.
those boys. They had all been killed and it was my fault. They were my age, and a few of them were our friends. I didn't think it would go like that, but wasn't it obvious, really? What was I actually expecting? I felt like a coward. But what could I have done? Should I have betrayed my father? I loved my father, but I also loved my friend Lapo. Which side was I on? I just listened to my heart. I thought it was the right thing to do. But instead, it was the worst thing I could have done. I didn't go anywhere near the soldiers. Germans or allies. They had all caused me harm. I didn't want to approach anyone. For any reason. I didn't go anywhere near the soldiers. Germans or allies. They had all caused me harm. I didn't want to approach anyone. For any reason. Once I crossed that threshold, I completely lost touch with reality. Everyone around me had died while I survived everything. just remember a big light and then photographs were being taken of me. There was a man dressed in white, a doctor I presume. He was asking me questions, but I didn't understand what he was actually asking me. He wrote something on a piece of paper and then two nurses led me away. I was in the mental asylum. Some women were talking to themselves, others cried over them. Some were even covered in their own filth. Others were violent and tried to hurt themselves any way possible. There was this one young woman who would pleasure herself all day long, incessantly, to the point where she would bleed. So they would tie her down to the bed screaming cursing and talking gibberish for days on end. Once her wounds had healed and she was untied, she would just start again. That woman was me. They started to give me injections. What they gave me made my whole body shake. I broke my vertebrae and an ankle. I think it was called Cardiazole or something like that. My body was like a fire that didn't want to be put out. When it appeared to be quenched, it would come back, even stronger than before. In the end, though, they won. I stopped screaming and masturbating. I stopped thinking. There was no longer any need for therapy. Something inside of me had died. But nevertheless, I insisted on carrying along this painful journey. I was stronger than I could ever have imagined. Nope, same thing. I'll say something.
Who are you? Wait, wait. I want answers. Don't go away. Talk to me about Martha, please. Martha is dead. I killed her to take possession of her life. I will never find peace for what I have done. I feared that would be the case. And what about Mummy? Mummy is dead. Nobody knows that better than I do, unfortunately. It's useless to try and deceive ourselves. Did I do what I think I've done? Yes, damn it. It really happened. I cut her into pieces and buried her under the bridge. God, all that blood. My God, I knew it. What about Daddy? The soldiers. Did that really happen? It happened. He was shot right in front of me. Fear, pain, shame. I can't remove it. I cannot relive it either. Unfortunately, I knew that already. What about Nanny? I haven't seen Nanny in so long. I don't know what could have happened to her. Who knows where she is? Poor thing. I'm afraid to ask about Lapo. Lapo is dead. He was blown up by a landmine. He got into trouble and paid with his life. My dear friend. Poor boy. Just as I remembered, unfortunately. One last question. The pregnancy? Martha was pregnant. Her deformed baby died with her. Maybe she was in pain. That's enough now. All of these questions are pointless, aren't they? It's all inside of us. We just need to turn the mirror. Is it not all just the reflection of an unknowable existence? Nothing more than a puppet show. Ready for everything with open arms, even ready to kill. Legs always ready to run. The womb that conceived in sin. Lastly, the mind. To protect us, it has turned us into monsters. Either way, we cannot live like this, can we? I'll take care of it. I don't need to worry. I'll try to sleep if I can. I've got this.
On the 26th of July, San Casciano was bombed and the church was destroyed. But I was not there then. I was already in the asylum. Once again, stubbornly, I was not dead. The bombs hadn't killed me and I had also survived myself. The most absurd test and the hardest one. The war ended some time ago now, both out there and inside of me. I was on the wrong side of the gate, but now I can turn the page. Life is opening its doors again, isn't it? If I hadn't been so lucky to survive myself, I would have thrown everything away. We think that danger is all around us, ready to attack. But the most devious and misleading dangers are the ones that are inside of us. They grow without us realizing. They make us suffer, remain confused and remove our self-respect. I would have wanted to ask for help, but I was alone. This is my story. Thank you for being here, for listening to me. Now I am ready to leave. How long will it take to get home? Well, the way my friend described the game, it would have been a lot more disturbing, but I didn't think of it like that. It's a little bit more tame for what I'm used to seeing. Um, If you want to read it, you can pause it. 